Imagine a shoe designed just for you that not only changes how you walk, but how you see technology and design. We are diving into how Nike is pushing the boundaries of footwear design with artificial intelligence, creating shoes that look like they belong in a sci-fi movie. So stay tuned until the end as I will show you how to create some of these concept design ourselves with AI. Now there's a special class of AI which is generative AI and what is amazing about this is its ability to create entirely novel and realistic images based on very limited information entered by the user. For instance, today by using DALI AI which is by OpenAI and mid-journey, for example, you can prompt things like create a Nike shoe design inspired by the work of painter Van Gogh. Now, generative AI can do this so well because it's been trained on millions of images that's out there on the internet. And what's the most popular shoe brand on the internet? It's Nike. So it's not a surprise that with the rise of generative AI, Nike is developing its own generative AI model to design products using its vast bank of athlete data. The company also showcased Athlete Imagine Revolution, what they call as Nike AIR. And that's a project that saw the design team create prototype shoes for 13 of Nike's top athletes. In this project, prompts based on the athletes' preferences were inputted into the generative AI models to create hundreds of images that Nike designers then rapidly honed down into a single concept using other digital fabrication techniques like 3D sketching and printing. So I thought, why not try creating some of these unique concepts ourselves, right? Using the existing AI image generators and see what we come up with. All right, let's do it. So before we right away jump into image generation, we need to take a step back and understand the approach over here. So the cornerstone of Nike's approach was to deeply understand each of the athletes. So engaging them with probing questions such as what is the aesthetic preferences to understanding the deeper connections with their background and inspiration. So for my concepting, we are going to choose Faith Kipiagong. She is Nike's top 13 athlete and we are going to use ChatGPT 4.0 LLM to learn more about her persona, background and preferences. All right, I'm going to use a very simple prompt over here. So this is going to be my prompt. You are going to act, talk and feel like Faith Kipyogong, the Kenyan middle and long distance runner. I would like you to tell me your aesthetic preferences and your inspirations. I'm going to hit enter. All right, there we have some really cool ideas to work with. My next prompt is going to be this one. So I'm going to say, great. If you were to describe your unique shoe designs to a professional Nike designer, based on your aesthetic preferences and inspiration, what would it look like? Describe your top three designs with different color palette and shape. And I'm going to hit enter. And there you go. We have some really cool design inspirations over here. Design one, design two, and design three. All right, so you can go ahead and read them in detail. You can also iterate on them. I always suggest to iterate on this design, but for this particular demo, let's go ahead. And now my next prompt is going to be, write a detailed image prompt for each of these designs. These prompts will be used in a generative AI image generation model, such as Midjourney V6. And there you go. So we have now three unique set of prompts which we can use to generate our images. So let's hop on to Midjourney. All right, so I'm on Midjourney Alpha. If you have generated around 100 images on the Discord server, you should have access to this. All right, so here I'm going to paste my second prompt, which is the minimalist design which ChatGPT had suggested. So I'm just copying that particular prompt and pasting it over here. And here I can choose the aspect ratio, so I'm going to choose a landscape because it's a, it's a shoe design. I'm going to select raw because I want a photorealistic result. And I can choose a little bit of stylization so that Mid Journey gives its own um, creativity into it. All right, so I think we are good to go. So I'm going to hit enter. All right, so our images are being generated. Looks pretty neat, pretty cool. Take a look at this. I love it. I love how photorealistic it is. It, it almost feels like an actual shoe design. Love minimalism and the color palette as well, black and white. 
amazing. I, I love this one. Awesome. So we got some really cool designs to iterate on. I'm also going to try the other design that ChatGPT suggested me, which was the natural elegance. So here is the prompt and I'm going to hit enter. And I'm also going to try something more futuristic. So I'm going to just copy the prompt for the minimalistic style design. And I'm going to type a highly futuristic. I always love futuristic design. So let's see how that's gonna look like, right? Highly futuristic, sleek, modern. That's the look I'm going for. So let's see how that works out. All right, so there we have all our images. And I absolutely love this particular color palette and the design. I absolutely love it. I wish it was real, right? And also the futuristic, sleek futuristic design, the black and white color palette. I think it's, it's amazing. It's so amazing to see all of this design with a simple AI workflow. Like if you have a concept, you can visualize them pretty easily and then you can customize your prompts and really make it work for your creative projects. So we created some really cool designs and I thought, why just stop right there? And I wanted to show you something really amazing. So what you see here on the screen is a comfy UI workflow built on top of stable diffusion models. Specifically, this workflow is to relight any image that you have, that you have created. And it's an IC light wrapper. You can find it on GitHub, um, but I wanted to show you what it can really do. Right. You can also change the direction direction of the lighting. And I'm going to right now just drag and drop the shoe design that we have just generated from Mid Journey. And everything else is set up so we don't have to dive into the details. It's going to need its whole um, 30 minute video, I suppose. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit on generate. So we just saw some really cool designs and there we have the results. Take a look at this. Absolutely amazing, right? So with a simple AI workflow, I could render this with generative AI in less than a minute. And you can modify the lighting the way you want and relight the images the way you want. If you enjoyed this particular video, then do hit the like and subscribe button. And I promise to keep creating some amazing videos on using generative AI to enhance your creative process.